Hello and welcome to today's edition of Route 664, The Road to Human Kindness. I'm Les Winston and I'm the chairman of the Endow America Network Foundation. Endow America, what does that mean? An endowed America is one in which the nonprofit organizations of the country are fully endowed to be able to take care of the needs of the communities that they serve. An endowed America is also where the individual citizen is endowed and they have an endowment that will give them income for their lifetime. Those are the two objectives of Endow America. We call that social security. The tools of social security help you get there. They will help the country heal, and the country can get better financially if we do these things properly with Section 664. A book has been written about it, Social Security. This has been written by my cohort, Wanda Miles. Phenomenal job on uh, introduction to this whole concept of social security in Dow America. And you get a free copy. Just call 855-2664-664. That's 855 855- Two six six four six six four to get a free copy of Wanda's book. It is Social Security: How Tax Code Six Sixty Four Saved Generation Alpha's Retirement and the Nation. And that's what we believe: we can save the nation if we change the way we view our economy and the way we view our own personal economics. We can deal with things better if we have the knowledge that we are going to have consistent income when we reach the point where we need it, or we can create income that will make our lives easier in the future, and it can be a certainty. It's not a promise. It's not a government handout. It's something you create on your own. This is the power that Congress gave us in 1969 that nobody knows about, the best kept secret in the world. But now there are people that can help you learn about how to use this section of the tax code when you have certain situations that arise. Those situations can be very simple. You may have a tax a tax liability that's going to come up because you've sold stock. You've made a capital gain. Maybe you've sold a piece of real estate. The problem is most people wait until it's too late to find out about how this works. You can't wait until the end of the year after the year is over. You have to wait. You have to do this before the end of the year so you can take advantage of tax savings when you have a transaction like these. These transactions are... Or every day. They're happening all the time. Businesses are being sold. Stock is being sold. Real estate is being sold. Those create taxable events if there's a profit. The government is very, very clear. They want to take many bites of your apple. They take a bite of your apple when you earn the income. They take a bite of your apple when you invest your income and you make income. And they also take a bite at the end of the day when you pass on. All of those bites can be reduced. You can eliminate any one of those bites That's the benefit of using social security devices. Section 664, we call it the theory of social security, where 664 equals E squared, meaning that sections of the tax code, like 664, can give you an endowment for yourself and an endowment that you can pass on to the community. When you pass that on to the community and we make the charitable world wealthier without the government providing it, We are doing a better job in our communities. We're making our communities safer, greater, and a a potentially much better life for everybody. That's the benefit of what the Congress created, but nobody knows about. So we want to tell you about it. And one of the the ways to do that is this book. Remember, you can get a free copy, 1-855-264-664. It's 664 twice. 855-2664-664. So what does does the endowment engineer do? We've created a society of endowment engineers because it's a new profession. This profession is available to anybody who wants to be involved in making the world a better place to live in. It doesn't involve a lot of knowledge about physics or chemistry or the uh, architectural needs of construction. What it does involve is sharing, is the ability to have people share with you what their problems are with regard to their tax issues and what their income issues are going to be later on because that's how endowment engineers work. They work to create your endowment based on what you have. Can't create something that you don't that you don't have the potential to create. That's why the engineering is important because every single case is different, every single house is different. That's why you have architectural engineers. Every single chemical uh, creation is done by chemical engineers. That they're all they're all individually tailored to a situation, and that's what the same thing 
is here. You can create uh, an endowed uh, individual. You can create their personal endowment by making their assets work better. Work better means pay lower taxes, leave more income, create more income through lower taxes. That's a very simple formula for everybody to follow. It happens not only in life, but also after life. And you can eliminate estate taxes very effectively when you use social security devices. You can re reduce your income tax by using social security devices, social security devices. And you can reduce your capital gains tax or defer your capital gains tax by using social security devices. When you're planning, uh, when you're looking at your own personal situation, you have to see if there's funny money involved. You going to have any tax dollars that are going to come up? Are there going to be situations where you're going to have a tax to pay that you don't want to pay? I had that experience with my own family and my mom, uh, God bless her, and she's written about in Wanda's book. She, uh, she wrote about my trying to get my mom to do something. My mom was uh, in the uh, silent generation, and between her and my uncle, they, they were in competition to see who could get the uh, most uh, interest on their CDs when there was a time when CDs were paying 13, 14, 15 percent. And she was so thrilled with the fact that she had accumulated so much money during her lifetime for the purposes of passing it on. But she created so much that she created an estate tax. And um, my brother and I are both uh, planners and we both were beseeching her, please, you know, you can do something about those estate taxes. You don't, we don't have to have the burden of that. But she said, you know what? I love the government. The government did so much for me when I came to this country as an immigrant, as a youngster. I remember how our family relied on government and government was good to us. So I don't mind paying government and I don't mind paying the taxes. Um, a lot of people don't feel that way anymore. Uh, I know a lot of people that would like to pass more of what they have onto their children. Uh, but she chose not to. And we wrote a very sizable check to the, to the government when we settled her estate. I don't suggests that people might not want to give it to the government, but for the most part, I think people would rather have it in their own families and keep it amongst themselves. So you can do that. You can create zero tax estates. You can create a lower income tax bracket so you have more income to spend. You know, when you pay less tax, you have more income. When you pay less tax, you leave more assets. When you pay less tax, you have better benefits for yourself. And tax is a very big part of everybody's life, whether you want to, uh, whether you recognize it or not. A lot of people get paychecks, they never even look at the tax that's taken out. It's, it's, it's significant between the uh, Social, Security, Social Security tax and the income tax. You're, you're losing quite a bit of money each month, each paycheck. You need to be aware of that. And if you can reduce your tax bracket by using a charitable device that helps you create income, you're a winner. The community's a winner, and even the government's a winner. They're the ones that created this. So you have an opportunity to learn more about it. You can get in touch with an endowment engineer if you call that same number, 855-2664-664. There are endowment engineers that will respond to the, to the call. If you leave your name, your number, and the telephone number, we'll get back to you uh, with uh, the recommendation as to who can help you with your particular tax problem. You may not know it, but there are times when this becomes more of a factor as well. When you want to like, preserve an asset for a family, uh, you might want to use a charitable trust to do that. Where you wanna, might want to diversify a portfolio. Uh, some, uh, some of you out there who are business entrepreneurs, you own a business. In most cases, the business is the biggest asset that you own. And it's hard sometimes to diversify from that because there are tax issues. But if your business is successful and you have retained earnings in your business and you're trying to get the retained earnings out of your business, you can use 664 to do that. This is Route 664, the road to human kindness. I'm Les Winston. We'll be right back after the short commercial break. Hey, folks, it's Charity here. Philanthropy meets financial gains in the inspiring space of donor advised funds. Tax Code 664 provides a perfect opportunity to both reduce taxable income and make charitable contributions through real estate donations. For donors, liquidating difficult to sell property while providing valuable assistance to nonprofits is made easier using this tax code. Heirs can benefit as well. 
So whether you're trying to save money or help your favorite organization aid its mission statement, look no further than giving creatively under tax code 664 for beneficial results all around. So we're back, and I want to thank uh, Wanda for the work that she's done on this uh, on this book. It's it's a, a work of her love for what we're doing, and it's uh, done in a very musical fashion, which is really very interesting. Um, it doesn't tell you every single thing you need to know about social security or how to work with 664, but it is a primer. It's the first of its kind that introduces the concept to you, and you can hold your own copy of it. And you can get that, again, free if you call one 664 855-2664-664. If you leave your name, your uh, address, and your telephone number, we'll, we'll uh, make sure you get a copy free. Okay, now when you get your copy and you understand what we're trying to do, uh, you're going to need help to figure out what is necessary to help you in your particular situation. And those situations are coming about as a result of tax potential tax liability that you may have if you if you do a transaction that creates a tax. Uh, those transactions are selling capital gain realty, uh, selling an asset that has uh, earned money uh, where you've done very well with the environment with the uh, investment and you've created a gain and that gain unfortunately is taxed. It's one of the bites that the uh, that the, the apple that the government takes. So you can find a way to pr- to produce a non-tax arrangement. I can tell you a story about a couple, um, both age 65, and they were uh, trying to reduce the amount of uh, reliance that they had on work income, and they were going to stop working and do other things. But they needed to uh, they need to have at least a retirement income of one hundred and eighty thousand dollars, and they had. Uh, 100,000 solidified, but they had the other 80,000 was tough to find. And so they went into their uh, advisor, their uh, investment advisor, and they looked at one of the pieces that they had in their portfolio. It was a major part of their investment portfolio. It was uh, shares of IBM stock that they purchased 15 years earlier. They had invested $100,000, and it was now worth a million dollars. And uh, the yield that it was giving them was about less than 1%, and they decided that they wanted to uh, change that and invest it where they could earn enough to be able to produce that 80000 But their advisor told them that if you do that, you're going to have a capital gains tax to pay, and so therefore you're going to have a difficult time making that, uh, reaching that goal of that 80000 because part of what you're going to get back from the sale of this is going to be reduced by the tax. So uh, they had been listening to uh, Funny Money uh, Radio uh, at the time, and uh, they called me and they said, is there something that we can do? And I said, yeah, you can set up a charitable remainder trust, and you can use that charitable remainder trust as you become the trustee and you become the income beneficiary, and you can use that trust to take uh, that million dollars worth of IBM stock and bring it into the trust and then sell it in the trust. When you sell it inside the the charitable trust and that 664 trust, because it's a tax-free environment, there's no tax to pay. So you have the full million dollars, and as a trustee, you can then decide where you want to invest that money to get the yield that you want uh, to produce to get the income, but you have the whole million dollars to work with. I said, well, that's great. Well, uh, it's so their kids, they were discussing it with their children, and their children thought that maybe their parents had lost their minds because they were leaving everything to charity. And they said, uh, you know, we. what about us? And the parents came back to me and they said, yeah, what about my children? You know, what happens if at the end of the day when um, me and Tom pass away, what happens to the money that's inside that trust? I said, well, that, that goes to charity. Well, how do we protect the children? Well, one of the things that happens when you put that money, when you put that investment into the trust, when you move that million dollars worth of stock into the trust, Based on your age and based on the percentage that you're getting back from the trust, you're going to get about a $330,000 tax deduction, which in your tax bracket will produce about $100,000 in savings. In tax savings, that's actual cash that you'll have in your pocket. Really? (laughs) Yeah. So what about that? I said, well, that $100,000, if you want, you could put that into an irrevocable life insurance trust and purchase life insurance 
for the benefit of your children. And when you do that, you're replacing the asset that you had, but they're going to get their benefits without having to go through any hassle. They're going to get paid within 10 days, and they're not going to have to worry about probate or worry about estate taxes or anything like comes to income and estate tax free to them. That's a much easier way, actually, to pass it on to them. And you've actually accomplished something else. When you pass, there's going to be a very significant gift to charity. So we took your $1 million of stock. uh, We eliminated the capital gains tax on the conversion of that to another investment form. We created the investment form in a tax-free environment that also gave you a tax deduction. And you were able to create a tax-free environment for uh, payments to your children. And so you took a million dollars and you may have converted it to two million dollars in value because there's a million dollars that's going to go to charity and your children got close to a million dollars. So everybody's happy. And that includes the government. The government's very happy about that transaction because if you put a million dollars into the charitable sector, you may be endowing some organization with Income, your your income that you are producing is now going to produce income for a, a charitable organization, and that charitable organization that you choose is going to benefit the community, and it's all right here at home. Now, if you compare that to the other outcome, if these folks had sold their stock outright and they had a million dollars in a hundred thousand dollar basis, they would have paid the government roughly one hundred eighty thousand in taxes. That would have reduced their investable money to 820000 So that's not as good. Uh, their income stream from the 820000 would not have been as much as the uh, income stream from a million dollars. So they would have lost that benefit. In addition to that, if they hold that till their death and they have, another, they have other estate taxes, they have an, a taxable estate, their children would lose about 40% of that value so it's 40% of 820,000 that would be lost and the children would get about 480,000. The um, charitable world would get nothing. The government would get all the tax. And the government what the government does with the tax right now in a lot of ways is they're supporting non-governmental organizations which are non-profit organizations which are charities. But they're supporting the charities that they want to support and not charities that you want to support. So that's also not as good. And your uh, so your total outcome is significantly better by using a 664 device when you have that kind of a situation. And it's so effective that people usually say, how come I never heard of this before? Or it's too good to be true. But those those sentiments are Though they're, they're true, it may sound like it's too good to be true. They're really not. They are. You have the capability of doing that with any asset that you have that's appreciated. This is all real, you know, middle class, upper middle class stuff. This is uh, obviously not everybody's in a position where everybody has assets. I, I consider people affluent who are people who are able to, if you're able to live on your income and you have something to spare at the end of the day, then you're affluent because you're doing something with that excess. Whatever that excess is, wherever you're putting it, you're creating something that is outside of the scope of your expenses, and it's in, it's in some sort of a savings or endowment account. Once you get used to that word endowment, because it's very important, endowment means a way for you to have permanent control over your income and know that you're going to get what you're expecting to get, and you can't lose it to creditors or bad marriages or whatever uh, comes up. You have a locked-in arrangement, and you have certainty that's built in. And I think it's really important. One of the things that Wanda talks about in the book, what she alludes to is how Generation Alpha, their retirement is going to be saved by 664. And Alpha is the generation after this current generation or the current generation that's coming up that's just born. Uh, but you can get a free copy of Wanda's book. Go to eight five call eight five five two six six four six six four eight five five two six six four six six four for a free copy of the book. Leave your name and your telephone number, your address, and we'll send you a book for free. This is Route Six Sixty Four, the road to human kindness. I'm Les Winston. I'm the host, and I'm also the national spokesperson for Endow America Network Foundation. 
we are the proponents of endowed America, an endowed America. We want everybody to be well endowed. How about that? <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. Bye. We've got best-selling authors. You are going to start to uncover all the layers that are covering your genius. And some of the world's top leadership experts. We have structured a mastermind program that is very unusual and it is very powerful. Robin Sharma at noon. Your creativity will soar. Your productivity will be epic. Your impact will be legendary. You will be the best in the business and you will not only achieve remarkable things, but you're going to feel something. Sunsets. You'll feel a connection to people. You'll feel for what's going on in the world. And that will make you a world changer in your own unique way. Robin Sharma at noon at 4 p.m. It's a Blaine Bartlett exploration of what it takes to be a highly effective leader in today's fast changing environment. Best selling author, executive, and leadership coach. And if you've been liking what you've been listening to on the Solo Business Podcasts, how does one become a leader that can keep connection? To the soul of business. Lane Bartlett. Turn it up. At 4 p.m. Look forward to seeing you there. At Route664.org. This is Route 664 Radio. So we were talking earlier about endowment engineers. Endowment engineers, that profession, that new profession, uh, we're training endowment engineers. That's one of the functions of Endow America Network Foundation is to train engineers. The endowment engineers are also uh, being trained as ambassadors for uh, their affiliation with Chambers of Commerce. We think that, I think, that the cure, the, the solution to a lot of our problems is more of a financial education available to everybody, where financial literacy starts at a very young age. Based on the fact that there hasn't been financial literacy taught at a young age and people going into business without financial literacy in many instances, we think that it's important for business owners to fully understand the ways that they can benefit themselves through tax avoidance, legitimate tax avoidance and tax savings done through social security devices. And to that end, we think that the ambassadors that work with Chambers of Commerce and the members of Chambers of Commerce who are business owners, to educate them in this field of endowment engineering or to educate them how this applies to them. For one thing, most businesses, a lot of businesses are built uh, to be sold at some point. Um, the business owner lives off the proceeds of the business if, if it's successful. And then at some point in time, there is a business succession. And of course, you know that there's a, a wonderful um, entertainment that was created on uh, this whole idea of succession, um, Academy Awards, Emmys, whatever they won uh, with that program. But succession of a business is really uh, not limited to the huge business corporations, but it's also uh, something that's a factor in small businesses. And when I say small businesses, I'm talking about, you know, the not the, none of the S&P 500 members, people, just regular businesses. They could be grossing uh, 300000 or 500000 or $10 million or $20 million a year. That's still a small business. And at the end of the day, the business owner wants to have a way for his business to continue uh, what he's, you know, what you create. Uh, I have it in a lot of instances with one of the things that we're doing with Endow America. I, this is something that I created in 2008, and uh, I've been with it since that time. And it's hard for me sometimes when I think about that I'm going to have to let it go at some point. And so you get this kind of owner's remorse, the, um, the, uh, the feeling that you're giving up your baby, you know, that you're giving it to somebody else, and you worry about whether it's going to continue to go on. In most instances uh, where you have big businesses, a lot of them don't go on because they get killed by taxes. Uh, they get killed by an estate tax. Even though the estate tax limitations right now are at $13 million per person, uh, businesses that um, are worth more than $13 million present a problem. And the, the factors that go into that, uh, when you understand that government is going to look for every way that they can to get tax dollars and the maximum tax dollars that they can get. That's how they operate. That's why they exist, is to collect your taxes. 
Um, so they look at a business differently in some cases than the own than the business owner might look at it. And that comes about at a time when it's really a problem, which is at, at the death of the business owner. So let's just take, for example, you own a business, uh, you're a 100% stockholder in a small uh, business entity, small meaning that it's, uh, uh, you don't have uh, other shareholders, you own, you own 100% of the stock. And uh, you are, uh, let's say you're, you're, you're manufacturing something and you are earning, uh, your business is producing you know, $20, $20 million in revenue and you're, 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 you're taking home uh, a sizable salary, but there's still money left over. You have, uh, you've got some retained earnings uh, in your business and you're uh, trying to figure a way uh, for uh, your business to continue making the kind of money that it's making. So it's a going concern and uh, you're making more profit each year, and so you're becoming more and more successful. And when somebody says to you, well, you know, uh, what's your business worth? <laughs> that's a question that, that's asked often. Uh, that's what the endowment engineer will ask you. One of the first questions they're going to say to you is, if you, you know, if you have a business that you own, what is it worth? And the, that's a really difficult problem for a lot of people to come up with. Some say it's a multiple of this or a multiple of that, or, you know, I, somebody sold a business for this. The problem is that when the government has to value it at the end of your life and you haven't done anything to value it yourself, they're going to value it at the highest level they can, meaning that they're going to find a, a formula out of all the different ways that a business can be valued, whether it's cap, a cap rate or it's uh, using EBITDA, whatever, whatever way they're going to do that, uh, they're going to find the highest level, highest value for that business. And when they do that, uh, if it creates a, uh, an estate tax problem, something has to be done to pay that estate tax. Now, of course, people buy, they can buy life insurance, they can buy, uh, they can find a way to um, have a, buy, a buyer ready, they can have buy-sell agreements that will help uh, clarify that, but they can also use Section 664 as a means to do that kind of work using a tax appraisal and finding a way to benefit themselves using their own stock. This is something that most uh, businesses don't know about. So when, we're, when we operate, when an ambassador is working with um, a, a member of a chamber of commerce, a business owner who's a member of a chamber of commerce, the ambassador and endowment engineer has the ability to um, kind of guide those business owners and give them an education and try to do it in the form of a blueprint for them so that they can show that business owner what they can possibly do going forward to make their uh, situation more, more tenable for that business to succeed going forward. Maybe there are employees that might want to buy the business. Maybe there is another owner somewhere we can enter into an agreement with. But using your own 664 trust is one of the greatest ways to do it because you can do it yourself since you're the trustee and you have power over what you do with the stock. So it's really important this new process of endowment engineering. It's also uh, it's talked about a little bit in uh, Wanda's book. Once again, if you want to get this book free, totally free, this is Social Security, the book on Social Security, How Tax Code 664 Saved Generation Alpha's Retirement and a Nation. Really, really important stuff. Um, it's a very short read. It's a thin book. We send it to you free. Just call 1-855-2664-664, 1-855-2664-664. Send you a copy free of charge. We um, usually do interviews uh, from t on, this, on this program, and we try to bring you the most current information from people out in the community who are doing some of the work that we're doing, uh, so you get a better handle on it. We have a great radio station. Uh, which you can listen to on a regular basis. We're uh, when I say we, we utilize uh, root, uh, we utilize route six six four dot org, the radio station. You can get an app for that, uh, where our interviews are replayed, and uh, that station has great music and great talk. And you can hear some really um, not political talk, but good, helpful talk. Things that can help you in your own life, make your day happy. Uh, it's great music, and uh, we want you to be attuned to that. So once again, if you want to get this book free of charge, 
855-266-4664. And we'll be with you again, same time, same station next week. Have a great week. Be charitable. Thank <music> you.